So good morning, everybody. I am recording this lesson. And here's a little bit of good news. Um, it was very time consuming when everybody wrote in asking for the recording. And so one of my secret elves said that she would help me out. So we started uh, something else and um, Rosie's lessons, but she's away at the moment and I was unable to access it. But I did discover that I can make it available to everybody who is on the Zoom list. So if you sign up for BBO Zoom, I can send you the recording or access to the recording. So um, there's nothing to pay for it. It's another service that we will provide at the moment. Things may change in the future, but I'm happy to do that at the moment. So you will no longer have to write in to request it. I will automatically, when it becomes available, I will automatically send out another link from Constant Contact with the link so that you can access it at your leisure. Um, by the way, please, if you, if you like getting anything that I send out, don't unsubscribe from anything, just delete it. Because if you unsubscribe, you will probably never get back on. Um, I'm trying to work out a way that people can subscribe um, but it's not so easy. Um, Rose Lamort has, wants to know if there's a Zoom lesson today. I don't know why she's not on the list. I know her name, um, but yes, there is. So um, Rose, it's right here on, the, on this chat box. So you should be able to see it and get here. Okay, so um, we're not bidding this hand, boys and girls. I'm going to call up the... Uh, Would you open this hand? <clears throat> Absolutely, every day of the week. Okay, great. Yes, and I would open at one. Okay, thank you. Very good. Um, let me just pull up my special deals that I have for today. Okay, so I'm going to open up all the cards while we do these so everybody can see everything. So um, we're going to be talking about 1430. So, um, which is a key card Blackwood. And we're going to bid these hands and see where our bidding gets us. So um, South is the dealer. Oh, so Pam, how will you open the bidding? I think Pam's taking time to count. <laughs> Such riches, Pamela. Are you are you with us, Pam? Okay, good. It's there. Yeah, I'm here. I did. Okay, good. Now I see it. Thank you. Very good. So we're playing at this point, certainly for this deal that after two clubs, um, North is always going to bid two diamonds. Later, I will teach you some other methods, but, but not today, two diamonds, forced response. And now South will start describing her hand. Pam, perfect. Excellent. Now, before anybody does anything, what, what does three spades mean? Three spades says, partner, I have a fit with you. Game is guaranteed. Furthermore, slam is a possibility. So how can Jake say slam's a possibility? Number one, he's got four trumps to the queen. He's got the ace of diamonds and he's got a singleton club. So his expectation is that a partner needs one trick at most from him to make a slam. So he has got the ace of diamonds for her, the queen of spades that is a guaranteed trick. And because he's got a singleton club, 
hopefully he'll be able to trump a club. So me, he might have three tricks for her. So definitely slam is, is a possibility. So three spades is much stronger than bidding two spades. Why? Because it allows the opportunity to start cue bidding on the way to gain. So if we didn't have anything that we could cue bid, we would be much less likely to bid three spades and we probably would go straight to four to say, partner, I have no aces to tell you about. But here, Jake is saying, I have an ace that I can tell you about. So Pam, of course, once Jake bids three spades, she's going to show that she's got first round control of clubs. And Jake is saying that he's got first round control of diamonds. Now, some people, including myself, play first or second round. So I might show that somewhere in one of these hands. But, but this, it's very easy for everybody to see that the four clubs says, I have control of clubs. And Jake says, I have control of diamonds. Uh, there's a bell going off somewhere. I don't know if it's on my computer or not. Um, it's a little bit distracting. Can all of you hear it? No, no, no. Oh, then maybe it's just my computer. Okay, good. Uh, so four diamonds. So over four diamonds, what is Pam going to bid? Well, there's no real point in telling her more aces, is it? No, because you know you've got them all, right? Yes. Or do I have to go through that exercise? Um, or just go for no trump? Well, you can just go to for no trump. And just confirm that she, she, you know, she's got what she promised. Uh -huh. And then you can ask her about the queen. So for no trump. So how many key cards do you have, Jake? Two. No, you've only got one. I know, I'm sorry, I got cards. the one in the, you're right. Okay, the key cards for everybody are the four aces and also the king of Trump, which in this region is the king of spades. So out of those, Jake only has one. We're playing 1430. So five clubs says, partner, I have one or four. Well, Pam knows that it's one because she's got the other four. So she now knows that we have all five key cards. So she could just go ahead and bid six spades. But if she wants to ask about the queen, she can bid the next cheapest suit going up the bidding box. So what's the cheapest suit in the box after five clubs? Diamonds. Okay, so you're going to bid five diamonds. Okay, and Jake is now going to say, ha ha, she wants to know if I have the queen of trumps. Do I have it? Yes. So when you have it, when you don't have it, you sign off in five spades. When you have it, you jump to six spades. Yep, I've got it. Now, Jake didn't know, but he's also telling her that he has no other kings. If he had the king of hearts, it would be his obligation to show it. But he doesn't have it. So six spades says, partner, I've got the ace of diamonds that I told you about, and I've got the queen of spades that you asked me about. But I do not have any other king in my hand. So that's good enough. Without the king of hearts, we probably can't go to seven. Because he and said, if he had, the, sorry, he if said, he had the king and he says hearts, how is he going to answer about the queen? Well, we'll come to that on another deal. Okay. Okay. Suffice it to say that on this board, when he bids six spades, he has the queen of spades, 
but he does not have the king, any other king. Okay. Oh, somebody needs to be admitted, Paul. Several people. Okay. <laughs> or maybe that's why that bell was going. There were people waiting to come in. Rosemary, uh, Paul had to go offline. Okay, no problem. Okay. Oh, I can hear the bell. <laughs> okay, what if the bell rings again? Oh, we'll turn the bell off in a minute. He's having some problems. So I've muted everybody because of the noise. Um, so the people at the table can unmute if they wish. Okay. Um, so suffice it to say that here we get to six spades because he's got the ace of diamonds and the queen of spades and going directly to six spades says, I do not have any other king. So let's have a look and see if we can make it. So we're going to um, make the south hand only winners because that's the hand with the long trump. So in spades, it's clear that we have no losers. Even if one person has all three of the missing cards, we have the top three spades. Now in hearts, we're missing the king. Good job we didn't bid seven. In clubs, we have no losers. And in diamonds, the king is good and the five will go on the ace and the dummy. So it looks like we will have no problem making six. And we might make seven if the king of hearts is on side. On side means that it's favorably positioned. So it would be between, it would be just under the ace. So when it's in the east, uh, the ace is south. So east is under the ace. And west would be over the ace or over the queen, I should say. Okay. So this hand is going to make six, and if we take the, spade, the heart finesse, it, we will make seven. So I hope everybody sees that and understands the auction. Two clubs, I've got a big hand. Two diamonds, lucky you, tell me more. Two spades, I have at least five spades. Three spades, I have a fit with you. Game is guaranteed, and slam is not out of the question. Great, I've got first round control of clubs. I have first round control of diamonds. Four no trump, just confirming. Four, five clubs, 1430. I have the one key card I told you about. Five diamonds. Five diamonds. Do you have the queen of spades? Six spades. Yes, I do. I do not have any other king. So I hope everybody could follow this auction. We'll, we'll go on to the next deal. Excuse me, Rosemary. Yeah. I am back. Would you please uh, invite me again as co-host and I could admit people. Oh, okay. There were problems with the link today. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so here's a new hand. So it's very similar to the last hand. Perfect. Excellent. Hand. 
Right. See, with, with this hand, Pam's not really sure what's going on because she's, her spades are not wonderful. They have a fit, so she's showing her controls. And now Jake is going to take charge. He wants to know how much she has. So how many key cards does Pam have? Three. Three, ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace of clubs, three. She shows that playing 1430, where the 30, three or zero is the second step, five diamonds. Now, how does Jake know whether it's zero or three? It would be impossible for him to construct a hand that could open two clubs missing 12 points. So he knows that she must have three. He's got the missing two. He's also got the queen. So he's going to bid six spades. So a perfect auction using a combination of Q bids and for no Trump 1430. So any questions so far? Um, Billy, I'm so sorry. It says that you can't see what's going on today. I don't know what you mean by a down arrow. Um, the link caused problems, somebody's saying. Okay. Um, Paul, are you okay now after you went out and came back in again? I am indeed. It was really messed up. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll deal with Billy. Okay, thank you. Okay, we will go on to the next hand. Um. Uh, kibitzers, if you can hear me, you can look down and see the link, or well, you'd have the link if you can hear me. Um. I'm just going to put here, look again, Rose. I've scrolled it down so you should be able to see it. Uh, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. Now they normally say that you need about eight points um, in order to bid three spades, but I think he's got it. The same criteria is true. He's got two short tricks with the ace of diamonds and the queen of spades. So game is guaranteed. And there might be another trick coming if he can rough a club. So I like three spades. So this is where the only thing I need to know is whether or not he has the queen, right? Right. So you would take charge and bid for no Trump. Perfect, five clubs, one or four. Can you see how when we practice this, this is very similar to what's gone before, we become very proficient at working with this method. Perfect, so what does six spades say? Yes, partner, I have the queen. I do not have any king to show you. So we'll quickly go on to the next hand, which is almost the same, but you can see that he's got the king of hearts this time. So when we get to that stage, we'll see how to handle it. Six 
So two clubs, I have a big hand. Two diamonds, lucky you. Tell me more. I have at least five spades. I have a fit with you. Game is guaranteed. <clears throat> Flam is a possibility. I have the ace of clubs. I have control of the diamond suit. How many key cards do you have? I have, I have zero or three. But he's got one. Ah, well, then we have to back it up. What happened? Um... Sorry, you're right. Oh. We have to ask for a couple of undos. Ask for an undo, please, Jake. I can't do it. A simple misclick. So five clubs, I have one key card. Now, five diamonds. Do you have the queen of Trump? So do you have it? Yes. And do you have any kings? Yes. What king do you have? Heart. So you can bid five hearts. So yes, I have, I have the queen of spades and I also have the specific king of hearts. What if you'd had the king of diamonds instead? Then you would bid six diamonds. So Judy asked earlier, well, how do you show the king of hearts if he has it? This is how we show it, by bidding five. I don't think you even have to go to six hearts. You can just bid five hearts to say, I have the king of hearts. But does it also say he's got the queen of spades? And the queen of spades. If he does not have the queen of spades, he just goes back to five. I think we did that hand earlier. So he goes back to five spades. Five spades says no. Six spades says yes. And any other suit says yes, and I have this king. OK. So it's amazing the information we can show. And look at Pam here. She says, okay, we've got the five top spades. We've got the three top hearts. We've got the two top clubs and we have the top three diamonds. I'm bidding seven spades. And if you really wanted to be uh, feisty, you could bid seven no trump. No trump, right. Because you can count 13 tricks. So excellent, but I'm very proud of you for bidding at the seven level, Pam. We almost never do that. But can you see how these tools will allow us to bid seven when it's making and stay out of it when it's not? Big hand. Tell me more. I have spades, at least five. We have a fit. Game is guaranteed. Start cue bidding. I have control of clubs. I have control of diamonds. Okay, I'm asking. One or four, the same one I already told you about.
Do you have the Queen of Spades by any chance? I do, but I don't have any kings. Pass, this is high enough. No seven on this one. Any questions from anybody? Okay, so I think that was the end of that set of deals. So I will choose the next folder that I wanted to use. Oh, okay. Okay, excuse me, Rosemary, I want to apologize to everyone who may have had questions. I couldn't deal with them during this time because things were very hectic getting everybody in, but I think I can do it now. Okay, so uh, if you understood Paul, if you have questions, uh, please send them to him again and I'll be happy to answer them. So we're going on to some um, deals. These were, um, I think these were real, de real deals that, um, let me just check where I am. I might have chosen the wrong boards. Please look, this is a different board. Are we going to use it? Uh, we might as well, yes. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. this is what I want. Mm, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. So North is the dealer and opens the bidding one club. I don't like that overcall. Okay, <laughs> too weak a diamond suit? I don't like the di that overcall because your points are not in your suit. Uh, okay. So um, I, I play with somebody who's got a, a nickname of the Bidding Cowboy. And one of those in a club or in your circle is enough. So <laughs> okay. if, if you'd had King, Queen, Jack, like you've got five other points. If you'd had that five points as the, um, as the ace and the jack, so it was ace, king, jack, fifth, that's a whole different thing. But this is okay. horrible. Okay, can I have an undo, please? Should I yeah. do an undo? I have to ask for an undo. Can I get an undo, please? No, you have to ask for it. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I can't undo it myself. I can, I can authorize it. Thank right. you. <laughs> okay. I think you're better off saying pass. Okay. Yeah. And when, when you don't overcall a suit like this, then the, uh, the declarer you know, has no idea where that missing king is. Okay. Okay. Okay, so one club, let's go. I've closed the hands so the people at the table can't see each other. They can only see their own cards. So kibitzes have the benefit of seeing all four hands. Okay. So Excuse one me. Yes. Me. Board 13 is still showing in the upper left-hand corner and they can't see West's hand. Thank you. And there is a question, General. Oh. If North had only one ace and three small spades, um, no. If you have an ace somewhere else to show and you think you have, um, uh, your partner only needs one trick from you to make game. So if you think you might have three tricks, even if you've only got three small spades, you should bid three spades not four. Not. So four spades says continue at your peril. So the guideline is usually, well, I would say three tricks, uh, two or three tricks or eight points. But certainly you need to have a control to show. Otherwise, what's the point? So two hearts. So once the auction goes like this, one club opening hand, one heart, at least four hearts, at least six points, two hearts. Jake has now limited his hand. He's limited his hand. So all responsibility is now on Pam. Now, 
I don't understand what three diamonds is. We found a fit and three diamonds is forcing, but what's partner gonna do over that? He's gonna bid three hearts. And then what are you gonna do? So this, this is a board where, can you ask for an undo please, Pam? Do I need to do it first or, or no? Oh yes. Um, or no, I guess there. So Pam already knows that there's probably a slam here. She knows oh. that. So knows bidding the diamond is not Q bidding? No. It's usually Q bidding is, um, he's just given you a little, a little namby pamby raise. The bid is certainly forcing, but it's gonna be confusing to Jake. So this is a hand where you, it's difficult for you to Q bid. And if you were trying to cube you should bid two spades because that's cheaper. However, cubing usually takes place at the four level. So with this hand, how many losers do you have? One spade, two clubs and a diamond. You have a four loser hand. And when partner opened the bidding, he said he has probably no more than seven losers. So seven plus four is 11. If we take that away from 24, the answer is 13. So this suggests that if suits break evenly and 50% of your finesse is worked, you could take 13 tricks or you would settle for 12. In other words, you are smelling a slam. So I think you should straight away go to for no trump. You need to find out if partner has control of the club suit. Because if he doesn't have it, then there's no slam. So for no trump, how many key cards do you have in support of hearts? So how many do you have? One, one or four, well, it's not four. So five clubs, and that's all you need to know. So if he's got the ace of clubs, where else are his points? You know he doesn't have anything in hearts. So the hope is that he's got the ace king of clubs or he's got the king of diamonds or he's got the king of spades. So you're just going to bid six hearts. And the advantage of this is that the opponents don't have much idea about what to lead. So what are you going to lead, Marissa? Please make make a lead, Marissa. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's do it by a process of elimination. So you're not going to lead a trump because that helps the declarer. You're not going to lead a club because it's seldom correct to lead from a useless doubleton. So that gives you a choice of spades or diamonds. The purpose of leading the spade, which is what I would have chosen, is that it's the top of a sequence of bad cards and it's long, which means that maybe your partner has either the ace or he has shortness and might be able to trump something. So that's why I would lead the nine. So how does it look in this deal? The big, big issue is that you've got to take two finesses. You can pull the hearts, you have no spade losers. Um, but how are you going to play the diamonds? How are you going to play the clubs? So that's what you would have to think about. And it hinges on one, one of these finesses working. 
and that's all there is to this hand. You have to take a deep breath, pull your trump. And um, I would say on this deal, I would, I would clear the, after you pull trump, why are you playing diamonds now? Good. Um, I would say that you clear the trump. You don't want anything to go wrong. You've got two problems already on this deal. So you don't want anybody roughing in. So I would pull trump in two rounds and then play the ace of spades. Now, why play the ace of spades? Because when you lose, if you take the diamond finesse and it loses, if they play spades, you can rough in the dummy and throw away a club. If they, if they play a club, or maybe that will help you, or you have to take another finesse, but maybe one of them will work. But if they lead a spade, they give you a slough and a rough, and that's beneficial. So that would be my plan for playing the hand. So why don't we just do this first part? So you won the king of spades. So now I would catch the ace of spades. Okay. And now what are you going to do? So which suit do you want? You're here, so you're going to work on that. Well, I'm going to tell you that I personally would have led the nine because I've got the 10 nine. So, um, but I, I would certainly let it ride. But the nine is a more encouraging card if they have the jack to cover it, hoping that partner has something and so on. So here we are with the jack. You had no choice now but, but to do it, and thank heavens it worked. Because now you can cross to the clubs. No need for a second finesse, and you can repeat the diamond finesse. So go ahead, Pam, just so people can see. Okay, very good. So you can claim, Pam. Well done. Okay. So this hand, it was a nice slam, but it was dependent on two finesses, one of which had to work. So that's 50% of your finesses should work. And on this hand, they did. And it's gone to the next hand. Very nice. One club by Marissa. Perfect by Judy, one spade. Excellent, now before anybody bids, I want to talk about this. Marissa has bid two diamonds. So this is a reverse. Um, a more familiar, comfortable sequence would be starting with one diamond and then bidding two clubs. So if partner likes diamonds better, they can go back to diamonds. But here it's the reverse of that. So this always jumps out at you. 
and says, partner, I've got a big hand. My clubs are longer than my diamonds. To bid diamonds, I have to have four. Therefore, I'm telling you that I have five clubs. I do not have four spades because if I did, I would have jumped in spades uh, to show you this hand. So you know that I'm, you know, I'm, I could be three, one, four, five. I could be two, two, four, five, but I've got a good hand, usually starting at 17. So now we should all have agreements with our partner as to how we proceed. Because basically Judy has to send a message whether we belong in game or she's got, she doesn't have enough to be in game opposite 17. So I, I will be doing a lesson on reverses in great depth, but this will do for today. Jake is going to pass. And now our agreement is that if Judy does anything if other than two no Trump, we're going to gain. So my choice is, uh, would I show that I have five spades yes. or would I do fourth? I would? Yes. So bidding okay. two spades says, partner, I have more than four spades and we are now in a game force and I, I'm hoping that you have three spades to go with mine. But we're in a game force. So Marissa bids three spades to say, I have three spades to go with yours. Is that forcing? Yes, it's 100% forcing because mm -hmm. two spades said, we, we cannot stop below game. I heard your reverse, we cannot stop below game nobody can pass until we get to at least four spades. Okay. Uh, so the reverse says she's got like 18 or 19? She, she has at least 17. 17 and I've got 15. Would I, <laughs> would I cube in? Well, I think it's difficult. You know oh. that she's got 17, and if you bid um, four diamonds, it should be a cubit because we've confirmed spades. So I, I think this would deny clubs, but confirm spades. We're going in spades, and this should be a cubit, denying a club card, but promising first round control of diamonds. Okay. So Pam's going to pass. Four, four hearts by Marissa. I have the ace of hearts. Well, that's very comforting to you. You know she's got, um, you don't know about the ace of clubs, but you know she's got the ace of hearts. But you can ask her, she's got a big hand. Four no trumps. How many key cards do you have in support of spades? I have one, two, three. Three. So well, this, this is the five diamonds. Okay. Correct. Five diamonds. So zero or three. How many do you have? Two. So now you know she's got the king of spades. She's got the ace of hearts. Now that's five, that's four and three is seven. And she's got the ace of clubs. She didn't right? show the ace of clubs. But she oh, has yes, three, yes, I beg three your cards. Girl, and she's got the ace of clubs. That's 11 points. So she has about six more points somewhere that are either gonna round out the club suit or round out the diamond suit. That's your hope. So we're going to bid six spades. Okay. So we're going to make it. What are you going to lead, uh, Pam?
Okay. I'm waiting for you to choose your lead. Okay. So um, this lead is very fortuitous for Judy because when we look at the card, she has no spade losers. She's got the ace and the king. She's got another heart here, but maybe she can rough it in the dummy. Um, but she's got two clubs in her hand. Well, the ace covers one, but she's got a club loser. She'll have to take a finesse. And she's got two losing diamonds. So we have to think of a way that she can get rid of something, either get rid of the club. I mean, if the club finesse works, wonderful. But we need another plan. What happens if it loses? Well, then the diamond finesse. Well, if it loses, let's just think about it. Jack of clubs, small, oh, well, I, small, yeah. and it loses to the king. Then I've got clubs still. Then you've got three good clubs that will yeah. take four and the five of diamonds and the seven of diamonds. Mm -hmm. So forget forget anything in diamonds. Yeah. And you don't have three neighbors in diamonds. No. So it doesn't help you. You've only got two neighbors, the queen and the jack. So you're going to win the ace. Yeah. And you're going to cross to your hand with the ace of spades. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Bad news. Nope. So while you're in your hand, you're going to take the club finesse. More bad news. Right. Well, yes and no. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I might still. We'll see. Now you have a chance. Well, that was lovely. Okay, well done. Now, Jake was a good partner. P partner led a heart, and he returned a heart when he got in with the king. And it's understandable why he would do that. He knows she's got trumps. He thinks maybe she can rough because he had so many. And Declara wasn't roughing any at that moment. I don't know, but he dutifully returned a heart. And I think I said that was lovely. That was lovely for, for Judy. It wasn't so lovely for the defense. Now, how do you know what to do? You can't return a club, but leading a heart, it was all obviously going to be trumped in the dummy. And even if she had the king, if she'd led low from the king. Um, but leading to dummy's weakness is usually a better defensive ploy. So when Jake got in with the King of Clubs, he, he could perhaps have led the Nine of Diamonds to say, partner, I'm hoping you've got the Ace or King of Diamonds and you're gonna get us a trick. Now in that case, Judy would have to go up with the Ace mm -hmm. and now she has a little bit more trouble because now she's got, um, she's got a lot, she, she did not play the King the first time, she, she I think she played the ace. Yes. Yeah. And now she, if she, when she, she plays the king, she can't get back to her hand. So that was difficult. I, I think on the first spade, we have to lead low to the king. So you can mm -hmm. always get back to your hand. 
-hmm. Okay, because you don't want to lead diamonds back prematurely. So in any case, we were in the right contract and it made very nicely done. There are two questions. <clears throat> yes. Oh yes, I did see an earlier question um, that said, you don't risk telling your partner you have six spades by bidding them twice. So just to review the auction, I don't know if I can see it, perhaps not. Um, one club, one spade, two diamonds reverse, two spades by Judy. It just says I have more than four. She only promised four the first time. So when she rebids it, she says, I have more than four, could be just five, hoping you have the three card fit. But nevertheless, we are going to game somewhere. If you don't have a fit with my spades, we are still going to game somewhere. But on this hand, Marissa was able to bid three spades to say, well, I have a spade fit with you. And then we could start Q bidding. Okay. And um, so somebody else says she only had 16 points. Four, six, nine, 12, 16. Well, sometimes you have to bend the rules a little. So how many losers does this hand have? Two spades and one club is three and two diamonds is five. So five losers is good enough for a jump shift or a reverse. That's usually about 19 points. So 17, 19 definitely for a jump shift because we go up to you know a double level but a reverse 17, but it is a five loser hand. So it has my, I condone it. <laughs> Rosemary, what did you say was a closeout bid? If I didn't bid two spades, if I bid okay. what? So if you can't bid, uh, if you don't have enough to be in game. So 17 needs eight points to, to 25. So if you have six points, which is all you promise, mm -hmm. then you bid two no trump. Two no trump, okay. The two no trump is quote the weakness bid that says I don't have enough for game opposite 17. Okay, thank you. So let's go on to the next hand. Pam is working quite hard today. <laughs> Do you get anything for four deuces? <laughs> Go to the casino. <laughs> so big hand, tell me more. I have at least five hearts. We're going to game definitely. We might even have a slam. Perfect. Pamela is showing um, control of the spade suit. So how many key cards do you have, Jake? I have one. Okay. I think you know the answer for that. No, I, have to, I have to shut off my phone. Oh, okay. So by the way, I didn't mention to you that when we bid five diamonds to ask about the queen, we guarantee that we have all five key cards. Oh. Otherwise, we wouldn't really be investigating. We would just place the contract. So we have them all. Yes. 
well, Jake just told us that he has the he has the Queen of Hearts, but he does not have any kings. So is that true, Jake? No, it's not. But I didn't know. I did. I, I didn't know. I said that. <laughs> it's a lot to take in with this session. So let's have a couple of undos. Let's see. Okay. So we'll go back. So you had the King of Clubs and the Queen of Trumps. So we're going to show that by bidding six clubs. And that's going to say, partner, not only do I have the Queen of Trump, but I also have the King of Clubs. Does that help you? So now when Pam looks at her hand, she knows that um, we've got, she's got all, all the top hearts. So at least six hearts, at least two spades is eight, at least two diamonds is 10 at least two clubs is 12. And the chances are that, that she might make a, a trump trick somewhere along the way in her partner's hand. So look at this, seven no trump, that's ambitious. Okay. Getting brave in our old age, right? <laughs> Very good. So what are you going to lead, Marissa, against seven no Trump? Lead your ace. I don't have one. <laughs> I know. What's <laughs> <laughs> the next best thing? Okay, well, I don't know. They, they have control of everything, so <clears throat> what does it matter? Okay, my language would just in case. Okay. The king of spades. The I mean, queen. the king of spades. And so when she leads the queen against this contract, what card do we know for sure that she has? Probably okay. the jack as well, and maybe the 10. Um, somebody is saying, I'm confused when a bit of a new suit is a control. Is it only when we've reached the level of game? No, it's after we go above three of our major. So if we found a fit in spades, Three spades would say, I don't know if we have more or not. But if we bid a new suit that's higher than three spades, we're committed to game. And therefore we are showing, a, making a control bid on the way to game and maybe slam. That's the difference. Usually if it goes one spade, two spades, and we bid a new suit at the three level, we're trying to get to game. We can still bail out at the three level. So that's usually asking for help, not showing control. But when we go past three spades, then we're showing controls. So here on the lead of the queen of spades, how many tricks do we have? Well, we have two spades and six hearts is eight and three diamonds is 11 and two clubs is 13. Well bid. well bid. Okay. So I think it's pretty close to ending time. I think I'm, I've given you a lot of stuff and I have many more slams to do at a future date. Um, so I want to thank everybody for being here. I'm going to stop recording in just a second, if I can. Ms. Marie, there is a question. It's a general question from Susan Rice. She yes. wants to know, why is seven no Trump better than seven hearts? Because it pays 10 more points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Master points. And may I just interrupt you to mention what the problem was today? Is some people apparently were using